Hi everyone, here is Abdul and today we have another unboxing. Um, if you're new to the channel, I release English videos on Friday and Sunday on 16 at 4 p.m. Central European time. And also Wednesdays I release German watch video on uh, 4 p.m. 16 Central European time. So be sure to check them out. So this one is an unboxing of a vintage model. Been a while since I got a vintage model. As you all know me as uh, the, fan, the, the friends of the channel know that I really like vintage watches. And I do enjoy buying them as well. Let's get this out. Nothing in the package. So we can throw this. And the packing is okay, let's say. I like them when they put uh, the, the watch in a bag like this. And here we have a Hino watch. Uh, this is a vintage Swiss made watch with a La Paz, La, Lazar. I don't remember the name of the dial. Please help me in the the comment section i think it was lap lazard or something like this and uh, the watch itself i think it's 32 millimeters or 33 32.3 yeah with the crown 33.3 .3. so it's a small watch lug to lug 33 so it's a circular watch because you have the lugs here down below it's a manual movement watch You can see that the movement winds. Okay. It's nine o'clock. Now it's ten. And now it's the correct time. Of course, they did it this incorrectly. So I have to correct this because goes the other way around this is a used strap so I maybe I'll sell this one and put it on a new strap just a tip for everybody who's watching this part comes here always so let me get the tools and come back to you guys see the uh, the, the sunshine on the dial looks pretty cool it's going correctly until now I'll put it on the time grapher but um, as I learned from uh, Jan uh, my watchmaker here that uh, when I just wind the watch it had the first couple of hours have the highest amplitude so I'd better uh, check it out afterwards not directly after I wind the watch I couldn't find any 16 uh, millimeter strap so most probably I would put this strap back on here we do it the correct way you put one part of the spring bar and then the other part you press it down with the tool and you get it inside you have to do it like this yes oh that's why because one side has to always be in and then the other side you can guide it with the tool. So I'm wearing my G-Shock. Let's take this off. Let's see how this would look like on the wrist. It does look small on the wrist. Like I said, I just bought it because it was a good offer. And I think it will sell or resell quite nice. And if not, I will give it to my wife. She will like it definitely because of the shape and size of it. So that was a quick unboxing. Um, I have no information on Hino, I might make another video, but if you have any information about the Swatch brand, about this symbol, about the dial, please leave them in the comment below. I'll be very interested to know. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, this is an invitation to subscribe. Hit the like button and hopefully see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great one. Bye bye.